Hi Taurus, I'm here to do your love reading for the month of June 2019. And every single time I do Taurus's reading, you have one of the most intense and dynamic spreads. I think it's you and Cancer that always have the deepest spreads. And it actually kind of, you know, shocks me because I have to really delve deeper into your spread based on just the amount of intense cards that always seem to show up for Taurus. So this month, it's no exception. Um, just to point out some things here, at the bottom of your deck, you have the Nine of Swords. You also have the Ten of Swords. Right next to this, you have Tower. You have the Devil reversed, the Ten of Wands reversed, and the Chariot reversed. So I'll explain to you what all of this means. But right off the bat, Taurus, I am seeing here that you're definitely going through some stuff. You're definitely going through some challenges in your love life, uh, clearly, because with the Nine of Swords here, I feel like, Taurus, you've been really up at night. Some of you have just been tossing and turning and pacing in your rooms. You're really ruminating and overthinking about uh, your love life or your life in general. There's definitely that level of anxiety. For some of you, this has to do with a health-related issue because you do have malady clarifying this. And for others of you, the amount of worrying that you've been doing lately is manifesting outward as some kind of a disease or illness that's very clear here. Why is this happening? This is happening because you have the Ten of Swords here right next to your tower, which is very, very intense. So it's almost like no wonder you have the Nine of Swords. I think anybody would if you were going through such... Um, such an intense transition. We did just come out of um, the Scorpio full moon. That was a few days ago as I'm filming this. But just in general, you are putting an end. You have two tens here. You're putting an end to something um, that was quite challenging. Now, always remember, Taurus, wherever in life you have an ending, it is going to be painful but every single ending is actually a birth. It's actually a new beginning. It has to be. It's the physics of the universe. You cannot end something without starting something brand new. So in that regard, you can find a solace in the fact that no matter what pain you're in, it's not going to be forever. It's not. It can't. It's impossible. Everything in this world changes. Um, that's the beauty of... Whenever you're going through a challenging situation, it cannot be like that forever. It just cannot. So for some of you, you're going through that dark night of the soul energy. This has to do with some kind of an ending. Um, like I said, you have the Ten of Wands reversed here. So the good news about this is that it's reversed. Um, you also have the Devil reversed. And this is your overall energy. So this is what's playing out in the month of June. Um, you have waiting on top of your devil reversed and you have messenger on top of your ten of wands reversed. You have communication coming in here or communication in general in the month of June that's going to make it very, very clear to you, very, very obvious to you that there are some things in your life right now that are just too burdensome to keep trying to carry out and you're going to look around you, you're going to look at the people around you, and you're going to make some pretty tough decisions about what you're so worried about and if it's really worth it. Um, this does have to do with communication. This also has to do with carrying a heavy burden, okay? And with your devil reversed, this means you're letting go of toxic ways of being, toxic ways of thinking or toxic people that are in your life, things that are just holding you back, things that you know internally on a gut level are not good for you. Um, you're letting go, for those of you that are struggling with certain addictions, you are trying to kick the habit here and you know how hard this is going to be. That's why you're kind of up at night with your Nine of Swords, but I feel like because these two energies are reversed, you are going to have success with this, even if it is challenging in the moment, okay? Now, for others of you, you have waiting on top of your devil reversed. A lot of you were waiting on a particular person. 
I feel like you just got tired of waiting and the whole situation was just a burden to you and you're going to be releasing yourself from this this month. Um, in your energy, you also have the chariot reversed. You have widower on top of this. Clearly, there was a halt. There was a standstill to uh, something that was moving forward, but has now been a loss. And remember, this is June's energy. So some of you are going through that right now. Some of you are um, going to be experiencing this you know, in the month of June, but there is definitely an ending here. That's very, very clear. Um, I feel like at, at the same time, Taurus, this was almost like it was meant to happen because when you have a major arcana, such as the chariot in your energy, it's almost as if the universe put a halt to something that was out of your control at that point. There was an ending here that just had to happen with your widower Lenormand clarifying this. You also have the two of wands here, which is being at the crossroads, having to make a decision, having to really um, start from scratch, go back to the drawing board. And that also speaks about waiting, by the way. So a lot of you have been under th that energy of waiting, of waiting to make a move. And that could very well be why you have the chariot reversed because you're waiting to make that move. You have foe on top of your two of wands. I feel like for some of you, you found out certain people that you were dealing with may not have been as trustworthy as you had originally thought, okay? Now, in your timeline, you have the king of wands reversed. Whenever you have the king of wands reversed, this can be someone who's very angry, someone who can act outwardly as being quite arrogant. They can often take out their anger on other people. Um, you have young woman on top of this. So for some of you, you're feeling like you're not powerful in your dating life. And you're also struggling with that internal conflict of endings, anxieties within your life, addictions or obsessions or just negative thinking and that kind of thing. For others of you, you've been dealing with a fire sign because you also have the fire, um, the king of wands in your romance spread right next to me. So that is Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising. I'm also seeing Cancer here, like I said. Um, Capricorn, Aries. Who else do we have here? Well, you have the Knight of Pentacles. So for some of you, you could be dealing with a fellow Earth sign, but I feel like this is you, Taurus. Um, and with Young Woman on top of this, you may have been dealing with um, the King of Wands reversed, who may have been dealing with other people, okay? Um, you also, again, like I said, you have the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this is your energy because you are an earth sign. I feel like you were offering something to someone. You were offering your love or a date to this person or some kind of a solid offer. Um, you have Sweetheart right on top of this, but right next to this, you have the Tower and misfortune. Wow. That is clear. That's very, very clear. That means that there was some kind of a huge unexpected blow up. Now, sometimes the tower doesn't have to mean negative, uh, something negative that happens, but being that it's clarified by misfortune, it's pretty clear what this means. Um, there was something that, that definitely ended and, or there's like a blow up of a confrontation or conflict and this is showing up in the middle of your timeline, which can be symbolic of the middle of June. And there you are as the Knight of Pentacles extending your coin right next to some kind of a big blow up and right next to um, the King of Wands reversed. Whenever you have a king or a queen in a reading that's reversed, they're not thinking clearly because they're not in their power. They've completely thrown their power out the window and they're they're acting outwardly um, in their negative traits, in their negative characteristics. Now, next to your tower, you have the Ten of Swords. This is obviously a brutal ending. This is something that hurt you. That's very, very clear with your Nine of Swords at the bottom of your deck. You're healing through this. You're going through that, that period where you have to power through. You have to power through the sludge. The sludge of the emotional pain 
of whatever ending this was for you. You have old woman on top of this. So you have young woman here and then you go to old woman on top of your ten of swords. This to me is symbolic of you, Taurus, feeling like you've had to mature at a very quick pace this month. You've had to really emotionally grow in a very, very challenging way. And some of you, you're looking into the mirror like, I, I look older. I'm seeing some of you just feel older and you're wondering what happened. Where did the time go? And whoever this person was for you, it's like they put you th through the ringer in such a way that yes, you did grow emotionally. You did learn a lot of lessons from this ending. It made you just mature like overnight <laughs> and you're like, what happened? As some of you, you're wanting to go back to like a period in your life where you were more naive and free and careless. But after having gone through this, you're just like, oh my goodness, like you've had to really, it's almost like a rude awakening. And yes, you've gotten some kind of a con consolidation prize from that by internally growing, internally maturing, really understanding people on a level that you previously had not. Um, but a lot of you are experiencing this in quite a way that's almost shocking to you. Like, it's like you grew like 10 feet overnight. <laughs> You know, like symbolically speaking, it's just a a challenging situation here. You end your timeline with the Eight of Cups, which is walking away. You also have commitment or wedding on top of this. Now, obviously, this is walking away from an ending of commitment or the idea of... Um, for some of you, this does not have to be such a, you know, a gloomy uh, situation. This could actually be speaking more in terms of your own personal life and whoever you're dealing with in terms of your dating um, arena or your relationships, you know, your intimate relationships, you could just be wanting to really get out of town, take a break with your partner, get yourself out of the position of having to deal with the status quo, really wanting to just leave. And this could be with your partner, but for the majority of you, it's looking like there was something that you did have to walk away from in your love life specifically that had to do with a commitment, okay? And I do feel like because you have the chariot in your energy, this looks on the surface like a defeat, but deep down underneath the darkness of, you know, the raging stormy waters, there is treasure there. So just keep powering through. And I really feel like Taurus, especially because you're the bull, you power through everything. Um, you're going to get through this, okay? Because you are one of the strongest zodiac signs anyway. What's underneath your nine of swords here? Seven of pentacles. So now's the time to really lay in wait. If you've planted anything for your life, if you have been waiting on anyone, now is the time to be patient. You also have the world here. I do feel like there is a hidden success here, but you cannot see that right now because you're so much in that anxiety mental state. This also speaks about endings with the world. It speaks about closures you know, closing the circle with someone. And that speaks about an, a new birth as well. The world is all about rebirth. It's very similar to the death card. Um, you know, when I spoke about birthing something new, it's about closing those karmic chapters in your life. And there you are as the king of pentacles, the earth sign. So you are maturing. You are maturing. You go from a knight to a king. And I really feel like that is symbolic of your future success here, but you have to wait for it with your seven of pentacles because you're planting what you've learned now. The four of wands, this is leading up to your foundation. This is leading up to your safety and your security. Wow. Six of wands and your victory. And there you are, the Hierophant, Taurus. 
That's a commitment card after the Six of Wands, the victory, clarity of mind, and new beginnings regarding your own strategy, your own internal thought process, your own intuition, and what you plan out for yourself here. And you're being very protective over what you now know you deserve and what you've learned and your own self-worth. And this is what's going to birth that new passionate beginning with your Ace of Wands here. This is what's going to lead to happiness down the road with your Three of Cups and celebrating. Celebrating what? Celebrating your abundance with the Empress. Leaving behind people that have stripped you of your innate power or who have misused their power. Then that's probably when you're going to get the communication from said fire sign. But I feel like by then, you're really going to be on a totally different level in your life. And how you're feeling about this person, Taurus, you have calling in your soulmate and you have communication right on top of this. You're sending out a signal to the universe and to your guardian angels of what you actually want and deserve. You also have engagement and the king of wands here. So you do on some level want a commitment with this fire sign. I do feel like there is going to be communication. However, there is one person here, whether it's you or the other person, that is unsure of what they want. And I'll explain to you why I'm saying that in the extended uh, reading. We're going to take a look at how this person feels about you, Taurus, and the outcome of the situation. And I'm also going to pull some oracle cards for you. And stay tuned at the end of this reading. I will be showing you an extended preview. So I love you so much, Taurians, and I'll talk to you next month. Bye-bye. Someone's definitely holding back. Someone is very scared. This has to do more with, I feel, um, a level of being afraid of commitment because the Four of Pentacles is like trying to hide, trying to, you know, sustain all of your assets away from people to the point where you just wall yourself off completely. You don't allow anyone to get close to you. You don't allow yourself to be vulnerable. I feel like this is what's creating the rift. This is what's creating the two of you to not come together into an actual commitment or to grow said commitment.